Let's get some more insights into the whole journey from someone who knows a lot about space. It's former NASA astronaut and ABC contributor Katie Coleman. She's one of those 609 people. She's logged 159 days up there. Welcome, Katie. Thank you for being here. And at first, Michael was hesitant about going to space. Then he changed his mind and he went. And now he says he wants to go again, this time to the moon. How does a journey to space change a person's perspective? Well, I'll just say that uh, that when I spent almost six months there, I would have spent another six months in a minute. And it's partly it's just so amazing to sort of be in a different world and feel like a, a pioneer. And even in that three minutes, I think that that transformation happens. And, and just I, I think it actually opens up the possibilities of who we are and, and where we live. You see everyone below you and, you know, if only they could be connected, we could actually figure out anything. Everybody seems to be overcome when they look out that window. They see Earth and all that it contains down way below. What is it about that image that's so powerful? I think it's the fact that you realize that everyone is down there. And I thought when I left Earth and went to space, I'd be going somewhere else. But it's clear that really you're still part of Earth. You're, I mean, that's still home. You're still there. You feel connected. And yet you also see that there are many, many of us, and the Earth is, I mean, that's our home, and it's a place we need to take care of. And I really think that it just makes people, it puts things in perspective, what is big, what is small, and what we've got to do. Now, what does this indicate for the future of space travel? Well, these flights, these, you know, three, they may seem like, well, what could you do in three minutes? But that three minutes, I mean, even yesterday we saw how important that was to Michael. It opened up his point of view and, and what he sees as his possibilities for making a difference. And also, I, I would say just from what I heard, you know, for the ABC family, for everyone that, that cares about him and knows him and works with him, they now look at those possibilities differently as well. So there's a real ripple effect of being able to see someone that looks and feels like you or that you know and you care about. When they go, you go with them. So even though, you know, you say 609, there's a lot of ripple effect of how many people those 609 bring with them. But also that three minutes is astonishing as a science platform. I mean, right now, it's either go to the space station and do experiments, or we've got a zero-G airplane where we can have about 30 seconds of that weightlessness to, to figure out mm -hmm. what experiments to bring to that space station. Mm -hmm. And so by having it three really minutes is. to do that kind of science. It really is fantastic. <laughs> and thank you so much, Katie Coleman. If anyone can teach us about possibilities, it's Michael Strahan, guys. Really awesome I, stuff. I love what you said there about perspective, what is big, what is small, what we've got to do. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.